hello welcome welcome everyone it's so nice to see you ladies chatting thank you so much for joining my live again um my name is cindy if you've never seen me i am at simply cindy i am a psychic medium i have a lot of tools in my basket so i do mediumship i do tarot i do astrology i love astrology astrology is like like my passion uh, uh astrology hypnosis all kinds of stuff healing touch prana all of that so here's the deal tonight i was uh all, all day i've been thinking about it like what am i gonna do tonight um so i've decided that i'm gonna go ahead and do a an upcoming september uh spread for because i don't want to do each of the signs I, i'm gonna stick to the elements okay so if you don't know your element i will tell you in the beginning um and i want to see what's coming up for september since we had we just did the live the other night where i gave you the september astrology and we have some great stuff coming yes there's some things going on pluto's going back into capricorn there's going to be some downfall of structures right so but you guys already kind of know that if you've been following me if you've been watching all of my stuff so that you're not afraid so that it doesn't shock you so much and take you time to like ingest it right um we've already seen that systems are coming down that uh people are coming down <laughs> like influencers are are their true stuff is coming down if you don't have i've i've warned everybody about this for three years now i this the so back in the past there is a point where I'm when I'm asking my higher self, spirit, the universe, like, what do I need to be helping with? Like, how do I, what's the message, the overall message? And for the longest time, they were like, love, you, you guys have to understand love, self-love, loving others, loving self, loving, like, you got to really delve into love. And we did. We did that. And then... The message I was getting it started three years ago was authenticity. You gotta, you gotta be authentic. You, it's time to what we call now unmasking. It's time to get to your um, true self. And what I mean by true self is the self that you want to be in this life, in this carnation, right? Because we're all of it, right? But that's what you're discovering. You're discovering how to be human in your particular way in this lifetime right like there's there's i've lived many lives you guys have probably lived many lives you're going to live many more maybe i really don't know i i know i'll probably come back because i'm nosy <laughs> i always say that i'll probably come back because i'm nosy i want to see where we progress to right but the the thing is is there's never going to be another cindy in except for in this life right there's never going to be another me uh, and so there, you know, in my past, I was other things in my future, I'm going to be other things, but there's never, there's never going to be a Cindy. And that's what spirit has been telling me. My higher self has been showing me. And especially with Pluto go being in my 12th house, like I'm really understanding the difference of, yes, we have these abilities. No, in our past and in our genes and in our DNA, we haven't gotten to explore those things we get to now in this lifetime this is a very um transition transitional lifetime i guess it's like in the past there were certain things like in our dna i told you guys if you've been watching me i've told you these your your generations past they had to survive that's what they were doing it wasn't like oh i get to go to starbucks and have a coffee it's like if i want coffee i have to grow it or or a merchant comes by ever so often and I have to like really relish it and kind of save it and do my own grinding and do like they had to survive right we're not in that anymore but because of that we have some habits and so this is the lifetime that your generations are like yes she gets to do it she gets to do what we you know what we wanted to do what we were striving to do right and that when I'm seeing as I'm doing media shit, that is what your loved ones are looking at you like. That's what they're saying. They're like, yes, yeah, she gets to do it, right? So, um, 
we're seeing a lot of us in this next 20 years not only discovering who we are and discovering um because we've already mastered doing things alone but discovering how we can come together how we can be groups right um, i saw this way back in 2007 uh, people would ask me because even at work they wouldn't talk about it publicly but they all knew what i was <laughs> they all knew what i did not everybody but the word got around right and so when people would ask me i would say stuff like this but we were in 2007 right we were all abundant things were going right it was a very different time and so when i was saying these things like we're going to group up and it's going to be a much we got to worry we're not going to worry but we're going to be really like food is going to be an issue and things are going to be an issue and when i was saying those things we were in such an abundant era that they were like okay right whatever and i was like I, i'm just telling you what i see you asked me i'm telling you right and then 2008 hit and everybody was like oh i don't know what's going on you know and so now we're here at that time that i was seeing and we're we're still not at the exact time i was i'm still i've what i said in 2007 we're actually moving towards right and i can see that so authenticity is the thing that is the message i have been getting for the last three years and they understand just like they understood about love when they said it's time for you guys to learn uh about love about the love that you guys want to experience here right and so back when i was getting those messages everybody was about you know the partnership and the da, 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 and the you know the dating and the da, 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 and you see it's changed because we have changed right and it doesn't mean that we're not going to have partnership it just means that we're in a different area sorry we're in a different era that we've learned about ourselves and we've learned to love ourselves and we've learned if we want those types of partners that we dream of and that we really want we have to get to know us first ourselves first right we're, we're learning that and but as generations have gone by we have a lot of baggage you know some of you come from well even uh, maybe all of you i don't know it just kind of depends on your lineage some of you come from marriages where that was the thing to do and you had to or some of you come from where you had to get married some of you come where you had no, no choice your ancestors had no choice right male or female just like we're learning about love and let me say this just because a lot of us male or female are not thinking about partnering up or thinking about having another marriage or thinking whether because like i'm a i'm a widow whether i want to or not right the fact is we're all coming to the place it doesn't mean that we never will it just means this is the time for us that we needed to heal we needed to really see straight we needed to really discover and loving ourselves because we never got to do that before our ancestors didn't get to do that before us and we're taking on that lineage and changing that so don't be hard on yourself and as a society don't think that oh we're moving to a space where we're going to be separate and there's going to be no partners i don't see that at all i just see that we're taking this time to learn about ourselves right so first was the love we had to learn to love ourselves and we have those my group is always ahead of the curve we just always are because i'm ahead of the curve um so loving ourselves but then the next thing is the authenticity okay now that you're learning who you are let's learn to take off those masks let's learn to be who we really want love was just the first part what is the character that you want to be what do you want to do in this life how do you want to what's your stance here right and you can be anything what are the abilities that you have that you hadn't gotten to develop what are the talents that you had that you hadn't got to develop your life isn't over because you get older and you retire like you're just coming to a new phase right love is the key love was the start but love isn't all and i've told you guys i told you guys on the last one authenticity is like four thousand times more powerful than the unconditional love and that's been proven and i want to do a video about it because love is important 
and loving ourselves is important, but it's only the start. It's only the start. But our higher selves, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, right? Love, um, whatever you want to call that has said, I understand that you have, you as a species, you humans, I understand you haven't gotten to be authentic. And there's so much magic in each one of you because I am you, you are me, right? So there's so much magic, there's so much ability, there's so much talent, there's so much. And then when we come together, it's even more, right? And so we're having to learn to be who we are, who we want to be, and then also coming together. Does that make sense to everybody? Now is the time, because I'm talking, you guys want to get seated, get comfortable, get cozy, um, and you want to get your drinks. Some of you like a little drinky drink, some of you like some tea, some of you like some coffee, some of you, you know, whatever you want to do, right? <laughs> uh, some of you like a little smoky toky some of you like whatever whatever it's just time to do that while i'm talking get everybody all nice and comfortable let's open up our heart chakra let's open up our already got my tea perfect let's, okay so get into this fire energy we can y'all tell me if I'm right? I'm feeling like in this fire energy, a lot of y'all got your feelings hurt. I'm feeling like you got your feelings hurt. Like things didn't pan out the way that you thought they were going to pan out or like you did it in the past and it's not working. And now you got your feelings hurt. Is that correct? For some fire? Uh, because... <laughs> I'm feeling like y'all got hurt. Oh my god, I got a cough again. Sorry, hold on. And I know y'all don't want to hear me cough. You already got to see me cough. Sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like you got... I really feel like some Leo's got their feelings hurt. Aries got their feelings hurt and they can get over it pretty quickly. Sad... Yeah, they'll get their feelings hurt. It cuts deep. But they can't get it over. They can't get over it a little bit better. But Leo's, I feel like you really got your feelings hurt. I'm feeling like things just aren't. So here's the thing. I think you're finally learning. I do feel like you've made some changes. I think you were trying to do it like you did it in the past where things just came easier for you in the way that you had it, but you changed some things and then the way that you're trying to manifest things, the way that you're trying to like, you understood some of you and so you changed it up and then things weren't working the way that they usually work for you. You weren't having all the luck. You weren't having all the interest in you. You weren't having all the attention. You weren't having all that, like, and, and. So you did as a, what a fire sign would do. You adapted, you changed, you did it. Some of you, not, not some Leos. Leos, it took you a little longer. Mm. And I'm feeling like by the time you made the choice and started taking the actions, you are so tired and hurt. And you're trying to get through that. Now. Does that make sense? Aggravated, thankfully. That full moon cleaned up some things. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Because I am talking to the three. I'm seeing that Leo's got hurt more. I'm seeing that some of you guys got through it real quick. But, like like I just said, the Sag, it cut deep, but it didn't last long. Aries, yeah, it hurt you. <laughs> but you got mad enough that you changed it. Leo is where I feel like I'm, I'm really hurt. 
So, here we go, let's see. Remember, faith in yourself. You wanted things to change, you manifested things to change, and then things changed, and then you got upset about things changing because it doesn't come the way that it used to come, right? All right, here we go. So Leo, Sag, and Aries. I ain't gonna lie, I probably got my feelings hurt too now that I'm thinking about it because I got a Sag moon. But yeah, you're right. I get mad. <laughs> I mostly get, I get, like I just told you guys, I turned off everything. <laughs> That's how mad I got. Isn't that funny? No, it's not funny now, but you know what I mean. Isn't that funny? Like, I have to work hard again to do it. Yeah, that's weird now that I'm saying that. Um, yeah, I got mad. I was like, mm -mm, and turned everything off. <laughs> that's a sad story. That's my movie that came out. Uh, so, Aries, you don't have to be embarrassed. Me too. <laughs> uh okay so where are we at right now for the month of september Woo -wee. nice i'm sorry i even if i wasn't on camera and i was just doing this by myself and then give it putting it on camera later i would still make the same noises i'm so sorry i'm really because i talk to them all the time i'm really animated with this and i know that you guys watching are like what <laughs> sorry my southern side is like, that's rude. Um, yeah, what's crossing you? Wonderful. Nice. Okay, the first two weeks. Wow. Ooh, I am so happy for y'all. <laughs> Uh, okay. Gotcha. Wow. I'm happy for me too. Shoot. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, wow. And you guys are open. I'm seeing a lot of things. Hey, what is that? Yeah, good. Hmm, okay. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. All I can say is wow. <laughs> Just wow. Okay. Let me get started so y'all aren't like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, so in your first position, in your now, so month of September, in your now, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Y'all are working hard. You're steadily working. You see those pentacles that you don't even realize you've made. Like, y'all are working so hard and are so focused, you don't even realize that you've made that many pentacles. You don't really realize that you've done that much. Like, you know you're working hard, but you don't really you don't realize what you're about to manifest. I think I, I like, I feel like whatever you think you're going to get because you trust me, because you hear me, because you hear the universe, right? Because you are connected. Uh, but I feel like you guys don't even realize how much you've done or how much you've manifested to come in. So whatever's coming in, it's going to be way bigger than you even know. That's crazy. So you're diligently working. You know not to let that foot off the gas. You know to just keep going. Um, you're having to rebuild a lot of things. Um, you fire signs. You're having to. So a lot of us are rebuilding, right? But you're having to rebuild a lot. And you didn't say, "Oh God, it's so much work." You were like, "Let's let's fucking do it," right? Sorry. But that's kind of how I feel. Like, let's just do it. And so 
but you knew you had to be inspired. You knew you had to like what you were doing. You And you went through all of that. And you have been diligently putting the work in for you. Now, what's crossing you? And again, I feel like this is for you. I'm trying to see it in a different way and I can't. I just see it in this way. So you have the Ten of Cups crossing you. Um, I feel like... There's just a lot of happiness coming for you. I feel like you are you were a little concerned about that. Um, but I feel like you're working with the energy. I feel like you're working with your energy. I feel like the Ten of Cups. It's like this thing that you have wanted. It's crossing you. It's in your realm of being joyful and being happy and being passionate and being all of that right and i feel like a lot of you understood that the emotion was taking over and then it would deter you and get in your way and you've realized how to handle that um not like the the or not like the water signs like that it's like your emotion can become irritation or rage or aggravation or any of that, right? And you've kind of learned how to curtail that. And you've learned how to get deeper within yourself. And you've learned how to get deeper with the relationships that you have. And if you haven't, you are working on that. Now, some of you, I feel like you have. Some of you, I feel like you're still working on that, right? <coughs> Pardon me. I'm so sorry. I feel like... You are appreciating the intimacy that you never thought you could. You always wanted, but you, some of you felt like, oh, I'm just not built that way, right? Like I'm built for aggravation and frustration, and but I'm not built for the depth, right? And I feel like you've surprised yourself and you're feeling that and you're really working in that and you're really discovering that, not just in yourself and your depth, but the depth that you can have with other people, relationships, friendships, lovers, you know, that, um, co-workers, just different, different, like you're seeing it in a very different way, right? That's part of what this eight is. That's the depth, right? I'm a depth psychic. Exactly. So whatever this is, it's like, well, to be that, you had to learn how to like have the depth, right? go into and see what it is not just around the outside and kind of look in right so anyway that's what's crossing you that's what you're dealing with now that's what you're exploring and learning and learning about yourself um what put you in this situation was that your world changed your cycle actually changed you were having movement when a lot of people weren't having movement Things were happening to you um, and you changed into a different cycle. So you had the world, right? And so if you were being a hermit, your world changed and all of a sudden you had a lot of stuff to do. If you had a lot of stuff to do, your world changed and you got a lot of help. If you got a lot of help, it changed and you had to put in some work. Like your world changed. Your cycle changed. Yeah, and it kind of just happened. And you went with it. You did it. You got over yourself. You put in the work. You you were almost acting like an earth sign in this way. Like a Capricorn. Well, Virgo, Taurus, all of it. Right? And so I feel like that. Because you've never been afraid to like put in the work. Whether it was emotionally or physically or whatever. But I feel like that put you here. And I feel like what's crossing you is that you're going to learn to balance these. Right? Oh, you're Captain North Node. So that's what put you there. Now, what I'm seeing over here in the first two weeks is that... Hello, Virgo, September 13th through Virgo. We just did the Earth signs. You, know, you may want to go back and watch that. I am going to cut these down this week later to each element. So they'll each be a video in its own. Uh, but I'm doing the fire signs right now. So what you have in the first two weeks, this is why I was like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But um, 
the first two weeks you have the four of wands so i almost feel like all this hard work that you're putting in you feel the manifestations of the stability and then like some of you had some ideas and you're working and it sets like you get some good outcomes and you realize oh my god this is working this is going to happen this is working like i feel like that um i feel like some of you who have not had a comfortable space yeah so some of you because i'm feeling like i'm doing the best i can but i'm still because i'm rebuilding i'm still not there and i know some things are coming i can sense some things are coming i feel like those things come like i feel like some of you it's like i got the place i got the car i got the job but for some of you i feel like the home i feel like the place right i feel like that's going to happen in the first two weeks of september yeah i even tried to go a little bit further and they're like first two weeks maybe even before then but i feel like whatever this is whether it's the idea whether it's the home whether it's the job whatever this is it solidifies it's it not only solidifies it like sticks like it's the foundation that you have been waiting for to really know that you are building your foundation does that make sense that's what i feel i feel like you guys have not complained you've just been working and doing and i feel like you're going to get the evidence of that does that make sense so from your higher self they want you to know you have the hermit so you guys have been pretty good but i want you to remember to stay balanced because from your higher self your higher self is saying remember to love yourself not go overboard and get it in balance where you're only working and not taking care of yourself or you're only giving to others and not giving to yourself there is time to work hard, but there is time for you because you are building. And yes, you do have to work, but you need to remember that you are wiser now. You These relationships and situations that you are starting with people and that you're realizing the depth of, you have to have that time of intimacy with yourself, with others. You got to keep these going. You got to remember to stay centered okay yeah exactly so that's what your higher self is saying because like i see this opening your heart and you're having to you got to balance this you got to balance this okay that's why i was like i'm sensing that some of you are working like a capricorn and we're just keep working and we're gonna work and work and work and right yeah my health has to be on point exactly I think a lot of you, thanks for bringing up the health thing, because I think a lot of you <coughs> have realized I can work whatever hours, 15, 16 hours, but do I really need to? Um, no, because if I don't, if I, you know, I do deserve the time to be by myself. I do deserve the time to take myself out. I do deserve the time to do absolutely nothing and lay on the couch. Like, I do deserve that time because my body's telling me and I'm listening to my body too, right? So, your higher self is just reminding you there's more wisdom within you. You have not finished discovering your wisdom. So, each time that you work and then you come back to yourself, you are going to be opening up more. There's more for you, right? this is just the manifestations of the things you've been working on you got to continue to open this up and have these relationships because of the way that you want your future the aries says literally that's the number of hours i work it was said for a reason i'm channeling <laughs> okay in the last two weeks of september you have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles you have something tangible money this thing but i feel like you get it before this so i feel like you get two things i feel like you get the 
So let me just say this. If somebody was looking for the apartment, they're going to get the apartment. But then you get the apartment, you're like, okay, I paid rent. Do I have enough money? You're going to have plenty. That's just an example. Like I'm seeing you get your stability, the foundation, and a little bit more of the foundation. And then you also get gifts, money. I don't know. Somebody gives you furniture, gives you whatever, right? Miracles. Yes. Like, and it's tangible. This is not like, oh, I got to think about it and make it happen. This is like, it's coming to you. It's tangible, right? So, so don't push anyone down. Keep calm and watch. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and I feel like that's at the end of the month. Um, I feel like I'm going to go back to this. I feel like what was crossing you was the fear of if I have too much joy, because here's the thing. Fire signs know how to have some joy. Like we know, we know how to do it. Right. And I feel like what was crossing you is you almost don't, don't want to let your have self have some joy so that you can get through the hard work. And this is what's holding you back is that you need to have the joy as you're doing the work because that's how you want to live your life. You're not trying to live your life like you did before and just do hard work and not even like it. You're trying to learn how to do work, not so hard, but diligently and have some passion and have some inspiration with it and have some joy. It's almost like the universe is telling you, it's like what they tell me, Cindy, it's not meant to be all serious. You have to have some joy in this, right? You have to have some joy in this. Like you got to laugh, you got to play. You got to do all of that, right? <laughs> That's what I feel like. Whew, that was bothering me because I was like, there's something more, but I don't want to go back yet. There's something more. And I knew they would eventually, like I would eventually get it. They were telling me the whole time. Um, so I feel like that at the end of September that you're finally like, I'm having so much fun and I don't have to worry about not working and getting in my own way and then just not doing it and being pissed off and whatever because I'm I'm seeing that they can both work together that my passion and my work can work together okay <laughs> yes <laughs> she said sorry we were too powerful exactly <laughs> okay so this is your fear I think I've already just said your fear but I'm going to say it again so the two of swords is your fear so you are fearful of not seeing the way like you used to see um, and having to feel your way, right? So uh, along with what I just said, it's like, I want to be stable. I can feel that I'm going to be stable. I feel that I am stable. I'm not where I was, you know, two months ago, three months ago, but I'm a little afraid because I can't see it, right? I can feel some of it, but I feel like if I get too much in my feelings, I'll get in my way, right? It's very complicated when you're a fire sign, but um, it's not like where the water sign, they can just get into their feeling. It's like fire signs will get in their way that way. So I feel like that's just a fear of yours. You're feeling like, will I ever do so you have learned in the past, let me say this, you've learned in the past that you have to do work that maybe you're not inspired to do, but you got to do it because that's the way the society is. You have learned that we're moving into a space that you don't have to, and you're trying to work it that way, but you're afraid of your old habits, right? And that's what this is, right? So that's just a fear. Remember, a fear is just there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want. You see what you don't want, so go towards what you want, right? just a fear focus that fear and work with it and just let that energy go through okay so this is the way people are dealing with you this is the way the universe is dealing with you this is the way people see you okay you have the ace of wands 
they always see you as being able to change and start and have good luck and all of that right and but the universe is seeing you that way too the universe is dealing with you that way mother earth is dealing with you that way your higher self is dealing with you that way it's like you are at the start and if and you are starting um and i have no distrust I have every belief that you're going to get exactly what you want. That's the way they see you. They see you as that. They see you as, wow, she has been or he has been through so much and they're still coming out on top. They're still starting again. They're still and they are brave and they're not making excuses for themselves. And I really admire that. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing it in a way where they're like, I want to give them this opportunity. I see that they're a self-starter. I see that they can do this. I trust that. I can tell that type of energy or that type of person. And they're willing, so the universe and people around you are willing to give you a start, willing to give you an opportunity. That's the way I see it. Um, and then... This is the energy around that you're kind of calling in subconsciously. This is like what's going to be coming in. This is up to you whether you want to bring it in or not. It's not in yet. It's on its way. You have the five of swords. So I usually see this as um, having to fight, having to really put a lot of energy, having to really like stand up for yourself, right? In this case, I see this as an easier energy for you guys, and it almost feels comfortable because you don't have a problem standing up for yourself. Um, I see as as movement and being very clear with yourself, like, oh, this person wants to give me this opportunity. Yes, I'm going to do that because that's good for me. Yes, I'm willing to have that. Yes, I'm willing to open my heart up for that. Like, I feel it as a um, I will say it's a more comfortable energy for you where, <clears throat> sorry, where you're learning to balance these two and it almost feels like second nature to you. So I don't feel like this is a aggressive in a bad way. Like there's aggressive in a good way where you're like, this is what I mean, and this is what I da da da, and you don't have to be mean about it. You just are direct and you're conf confident. That's the energy. Sorry, you guys are powerful. I mean, I know that about you guys, but you guys are really focused. <laughs> um, <coughs> confidence. <coughs> so this energy is you being confident. And feeling like you're yourself, but better again. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, this makes sense. After everything that I've said, the theme, the theme for you guys of how you're going to be doing things, feeling this way, people see you, right, is the emperor. So you have become the authority People are going to be looking to you and you're going to be confident enough to like say yes or no. Yes. Um, like I just feel like in areas of your life, people are seeing you as not like this hurt that you were having. It's almost like you're recovering from that. I feel like for some of you, it's not that they see you like that. It's that they are that and they're coming to help. So I will say that for probably about 80% of you, I just got that number, 80% of you are going to have a lot of help this month, this next month. Like somebody with authority, with finances, with whatever that can sign this thing and give you that loan or sign this thing and give you that home or sign whatever this is they help you and they help you because they can see it in you 
that this is a person that's not plain, right? Does that make sense? So you're going to be seeing evidence of that and you are going to have help with that, okay? That is a great, great thing. You guys have some good things coming. Congratulations. Congratulations to me too. 